right. You're going to super love this. Never mind the Rhine for a second. Sorry, just a moment, everyone. New recruit over here, so no getting mad at her, even though she's going to make you extra late getting back to work. Okay, now, this is easy. Here are the ingredients. You may notice that they run the gamut from pretty cute to insanely adorable. This is not an accident. When I started my business, I got a reputation for having some of the cutest bento in Kyoto. So now I have to keep that up. But between me and you, I think there's more to life than cute. I've been working on some pretty avant-garde stuff in my home kitchen, but the paborik isn't ready yet. So you know what to do? Okay, very easy. The customers will give you a list of what they want and how they want it organized, and you pack it together. You won't believe how easy it is. Okay, I gotta go. Good luck, the store. Good luck. You'll do fine. I'll be back soon. Oh no, I'm out of charms. You can still help out if you want, but I won't have anything to give you. No, don't stop. Please continue with your speech. I love jumping on the train to get picked on by you two. Couldn't think of a better way to spend my day. Can't wait for the mean phone messages about what an awful sister I am because I never visit. Oh, shut up, Miwako. When you're both ganging up on me, then it actually is about me. Brat? You want to see Brat? I'll show you, Brat. It looks a lot like this. Believe it. I'm out. Nancy, come here. What's that? No, don't stop. Please continue with your speech. I love jumping on the train to get picked on by the two of you. Couldn't think of a better way to spend my day. Can't wait for the mean phone messages about what an awful sister I am because I never visit. Oh, shut up, Miwako. When you're both ganging up on me, then it actually is about me. Brat? You want to see Brat? I gotta show you Brat. It looks a lot like this. Believe it. I'm out. Hello. Not in. Bye-bye. I'm busy right now. Can you come back in a bit? I should get back to work. Absolutely not. Who's asking? It might be. Are you going to order? What's your agenda here, stranger? Nancy, do you have my boxes? I'm falling apart here. I need those boxes. Please hurry. I need those boxes. Boxes, please. This is an emergency. Nancy. And you've got my boxes. Neat. Here, I've got a thing for you. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you right now. Just go away. I don't want to see you right now. Mm, nope, never heard of you, but thank you for saying your name out loud. Oh, wait, Nancy Drew? As in friends with Beth and George and staying at the Ryokin, Nancy Drew? Or are there two of you? Which one is it? Excellent. Yes, perfect. Get over here. Come on. You're learning to make bento the Yumi way. Come on, trust me, it's a life skill. Once you know how to make a good bento box, you pretty much got the whole world all figured out. You'll figure it out. Or maybe you won't. Well, I guess we'll see. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ask me, Wako. Who cares about that, Nancy Drew? Bento's what's important. I'm not into that sort of thing. Couldn't you find a pamphlet? Oh, I get it. You want the dirt on the situation, right? Interesting. You're working some kind of angle here, aren't you? Not that it matters. Still, way too busy to talk. Okay. Surrounded by breathtaking views, you'll not soon forget. The Ryoka Hie opens the door to a simpler time. Perfect for the business traveler hoping to experience traditional Japan or the family in search of that perfect vacation. Ryokin Hie, discover Japan, discover you. Isn't it? That's mine from years back. I was thinking of going into advertising, but then I thought, nah. Aha! If you really want to know. Oh no! I'm running out of bento boxes. Can you please go grab my backup stock from my apartment? This is the sort of thing that can move us from buddies to straight up besties. Oh, yeah, bye. I'm running out of bento boxes. Can you please go grab my backup stock from my apartment? Please. This is the sort of thing that could move us from buddies to straight-up besties. Great! It's just over by the Kurume station. I could tell right away that we were going to be friends. Here's my key. Okay, you brought this upon yourself. See what you did? Look at this. I can keep this up all day. Oh, and P.S. My number is 075-021-5855. It's a phone charm. You can't not have one. Come to think of it, it doesn't really do anything. Get a job, phone charm. It probably won't. That's okay. Just hang it on your phone. I've got tons. Help me with bento, and I'll hook you up with some super cute ones. Nice job. Here you go. Thanks. I've got another charm for you. Awesome job. Oh, and you're going to love this. Oh, no. I'm out of charms. You can still help if you want, but I don't have anything to give you. Thanks for helping out, Nancy. Cute. Thanks. Ooh, I love this one. This one's not so pretty, but since it's from you, I like it. I know just where I'm going to put this. Thanks, Nancy. You do? Thanks. It's just a 1K. That's code around here for tiny and overpriced, but the location is great and it's mine. I love it. The second I was old enough to sign a lease. Best decision I've ever made. No late night room service. No annoying tourists calling up at four in the morning. I adore that apartment. I wonder if it knows. 
I'm going to get it something nice today. A new doormat or something. That doesn't sound like the impression you'd get by having a chat with Miwako. What are you trying to ask? That's more her area of expertise. I've never been the go-to girl for the Ryoka. That place is the definition of repetitive. Guests come in, guests come out. It's brain-breakingly tedious. I don't know how Miwako puts up with it. Not even for a second. I mean, I don't even get the whole tradition thing. You want to go to the past? Get a time machine. I'm not one for living in the past. Have you ever read a history book? The past is where we keep all of the terrible things that have happened. What a yeah! Why else would she be there day in and day out? What that Gura needs is to spend some time out here. A few weeks with me and my friends would be enough to shake her up and get her to have some fun for once. Ugh, Nancy-chan. Don't get all everyone else on me here. If I had known I was supposed to run that place when I grew up, I would have taken a pass on the whole firstborn thing. Trust me. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why do you care so much about it anyway? I'd back burner that curiosity as long as you're staying at the Ryokan if I were you. Try not to find out, okay, Nancy? You seem nice. That's the shocker of the decade. She's hesitant to talk to herself. It's a phase. Aro snap out of it. Like I've been hypnotized and one day someone says the right word and snaps their fingers and Aro go, Hero, I am Yumi. One job running Ryokan, please. She's old school like that. Thinks the fun parts of life are a phase and the nasty parts are the bees and knees. Other than that he should get a job at the nerd statue factory as their primary model? He's a good time. What do you think of Rentaro? He's a bit of a pest. Nice works if you want to be polite. But come on, this isn't the Ryokan. You can say what you mean. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, that weird thing about him is his personality. That kid is his own special kind of neurotic. Huh, always has been. But he's my fake little brother, so I'm used to it. Until someone brings it up, I forget how he must seem when you first meet him. He first moved in next door when I was seven and Miwako was five. He followed us around day and night. One day, when he was being a real pain to Miwako, she just snapped and punched him hard. It was bad news. My mother saw. After that, we had to be nice to him no matter what, at least when she was in sight. Eventually, he grew on us, especially Miwako. It's hard to backdate that sort of thing, so let's just say they've been dating somewhere between two and a thousand years. Do they? Come on, make with the details. Ugh, boring. Nancy, if we're going to be gossip buddies, you're going to have to work on your follow-through. Well, that's not surprising. Rentaro is super annoying. Super, super annoying. It's part of this reverse psychology bizarre charm he's got. When he's in one of his hyper Rentaro moods, it's like hanging out with a puppy. Except Rentaro is housebroken, and he doesn't go all crazy when there's a cat outside. Well, most times he doesn't. Oh yeah, he loves the city. He's here every chance he can get. Oh, he's been that way forever. When we were kids, he and I used to jump on the train the second my mom turned her back. We weren't supposed to go into the city unsupervised, so Miss I'd Rather Break a Bone Than a Ruro Miwako never came. Although, <laughs> maybe she was right about that. We got in so much trouble every time. Tech something? I sort of don't listen to him when he's being boring about things. Get it? Oh, you cannot get something this cool in a store. I made it. Yeah, I got sick of waiting for the boutiques to catch up to me. The places I go around here, fashion is the business. You don't show up looking out of date. <gasps> oh, I've got the best thing. You gotta have it. I use it to come up with all of my new ideas. It's a program for your phone. You upload pictures to the computer and send them to your phone. It lets you test out a new look on you or your friends. It's back at my place on the computer. I could sort of tell, but I wasn't sure if you were going for an irony thing with your outfit. Just teasing. You pull off the old school thing, Nancy Drew. Some things don't go out of style. If you help me out with a little more bento right now, I'll hook you up with the program. Come on, great job. Here you go, Nancy. This is not the time or the place. <sighs> There's never going to be a time or place. Just drop it. I'm busy. Maybe you should go. I said I'm busy. That means leave me alone. Now. Okay, how did you get this? You know what? I don't even want to know. Just go put it back. She's some sort of ghost hunter or something. I don't know much about it, okay? Yeah, well, just because my grandmother believes in that junk doesn't mean I do. I did it at the Purikura booth. They're everywhere around here. They're these picture booths and you get to choose decorations and you can write out your own messages. It is. Everyone uses them. Keep an eye out and Aro send you some more. There's not much to get. It's just for fun. Some people use them like notes or something, but most of it's just something to do when you're out with friends. Thanks. I know. Isn't that one great? Yeah, I love that one. What do you mean? You're sure they mean something? Maybe you've been spending a little too much time at the Ryoka. You're right. Nice job, Nancy. I know you want to help, Nancy, but that doesn't mean you can help. If you could break this code, I knew you could help me. And you did. That's the next step. Take a good look around. Think about situations where numbers come in handy. I would. 
but I'm falling way behind as it is. I need your help. Come on, Nancy. Great job. Also, Nancy, bad news. I didn't notice how late it was getting. I sort of made you miss your last train back to the Ryoka. You're not mad, are you? Oh no. Okay, don't worry. I think I have a solution. I want you to stay at my apartment tonight. I just stay at a friend's. I do this all the time for Rentaro, so I'm not taking no on this one. My apartment may not be as good as the Ryokan, but it does beat sleeping on the street. Plus, I'll never hear the end of it if you meet some gruesome fate or whatever. My apartment. You're staying there, like it or not. Oh, that's Miwako's. It shouldn't be in my apartment. It's just a stupid book about puppets. It's just another one of the things that my grandmother is trying to always push on us. Yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, she's told me plenty. Blah. Same old story. She breaks out every time she's in a bad mood. I don't want to talk about it. I do. It's not just haunted. There's something else strange going on there. Look, I don't want to freak you out, but between you and me, the haunting is nothing compared to some of the other strange stuff going on over there. Last time I visited, it was late at night, and I was out in the garden, and something was off. I could just feel it. All of a sudden. There was this loud shriek and this flash of light, and then Nancy drew. I saw aliens, dozens of them. They had come to visit Ada of their ghost friends. I really don't. Sorry, I told you I didn't want to talk about that. What do you mean? That's not funny, Nancy. That was written on my window in my apartment. You're not lying. You swear? It means, it means my grandmother is right. Nancy, don't go back to the Ryoka. Just. Just go home, okay? Find your friends and go home, Nancy. Don't go back to the Ryoka. Just, just go home, okay? Find your friends and go home, please, Nancy. Don't go back to the Ryoka. Just, just go home, okay? Find your friends and go home, please. You did what? I'm sure it'll be fine. Just be very cautious. You have to be cautious about everything here, Nancy. Okay, see ya. Bye, Nancy Drew. Peace out, Nancy Drew. Bye. See you later. Catch you later. What's going on? Hi. Hello. Okay. See ya. See you later. Catch you later. Keep it real, Nancy Drew. Bye. It is a name, but it is not your name. Try again. No, that is not right. Do it again, but better. No, you think too much. Just practice. No, again. No, do it the right way. Let us begin. The tea ceremony has been practiced and perfected for many, many years. It is very involved, but today I will teach you the very basic elements. Here we have the chasen or tea whisk. Here is the chakin, the tea cloth. This is called the kensui. This bamboo ladle is called a hishaku. You place the teapot cover on the futaoki. This is the chawan or tea bowl. The tea scoop is called the chasaku. This is called the furo. This is the tea container. It is called the natsume. Each object has its proper place in the ceremony. You must place each item where it belongs. Well done, Nancy-san. <gasps> Nanasi-san, please sit. I'm sorry. I cannot talk right now. I'm sorry. I'm very busy. It did not. You know better. She does not want her here. Tell her to go now. Do you believe me now? Hello. Let me guess. You're that Nancy girl who's been driving my assistant to distraction and back this last week. Hello. Hi. Savannah here. Sorry, I'm out of that business now. I'm working as a technology reporter. Unless you got a real hot tip about some emerging tech, I don't really have the time today. I would. Now tell me what's so important that y'all ruined my perfectly good assistant. Since y'all been calling round, talking to him's been like talking to a rock, a rock that I pay too much money. Don't tell me a lie now. This a joke, honey. Whoever you are, my best advice to you is to pack your bags and head back to wherever it is y'all come from. There gonna be anything I can say that'll change your mind now? I've been a lot of places that say they haunt it, but none fit the ticket like that spooky old Rio Can he a? I never got to finish up the chapter on the Rio Can like I was supposed to. Between us girls, I'm glad of that. You get much out of the family? Uh huh. Tell you what, 
You end up following through with that bad idea of yours to stay at the Rio Can? And I'll see what help I can provide. But Nancy, y'all be careful there now. You understand me? Course. Ain't nothing hard than that. It's as easy as shadow puppets. All you need to be able to do is practice. In my experience, people like scaring people with shadows a lot more than ghosts do. Way I see it, if it's something a person could plausibly do, then there's a person behind it. If it's something a person can't do that scan you, well, y'all don't need me to finish that sentence. Did you see them appear, or were they there and you found them? Well, at least that's good. To make wet footprints appear, you just need a wet foot and something to put it on. But when they just start appearing out of the blue, ain't nothing too good about that, especially considering what happened to the previous innkeeper. I know you ain't the superstitious kind, otherwise you'd be long gone by now, but it ain't always good to talk about the dead... Especially those not at rest. Did it break? That's how you know it's a trick. Y'all know what the main difference between truth and illusion is in my line of work? Time. An illusion can only last so long before it gives up its secrets. Now, I don't know exactly how that mill was fixed, but the fact that it broke means that whoever rigged it knew that if you examined it enough, you'd figure it out. Exactly. That is, if it was a trick. Nancy... I can tell you how things might be faked, but I can't tell you if they were faked. You're the ones got to stand there and know how the room feels when these things happen. Sure. Now that one's older than the hills. Oh, plenty ways. You can use remote control, wire, and pulleys. One place I went even used air pressure, if y'all can believe that mess. Anything that looks out of place. I know that was so long ago, I don't even have the slightest. I remember I was on the second floor. And it had this strange passageway in it. But that's about it. I got the impression they weren't too crazy about having me stay there. So maybe you should check the records for a room that they don't let out to customers. Yeah, it was bizarre. I don't really remember exactly where it went. Down into the basement, maybe? Unfortunately, I didn't have much time to explore the room before I had to leave. Not really. I'm sorry, Nancy. Oh, oh wait a minute now. Come to think of it. It had a, a, a carved wooden bird that triggered the passage. I hope that helps. Oh, yeah, that. Now, before you go thinking I'm some sort of charlatan, I don't normally do things like that. In fact, I had those made up to give to kids who were feeling too scared to go to sleep at night. I felt like I should leave them something. I don't usually leave a place without knowing what's really going on there. Honestly, I felt so bad about the whole situation. It's a ghost hunter's best friend, in more ways than one. Well, if you're just looking to find evidence that you got a bunch of wild spirits running amok, you'll find it in your EVP recordings. It's very easy to hear what you want to hear in those recordings. Oh, you'd be surprised. But one thing it does do for certain is let your eavesdrop on the whole property without drawing too much attention to yourself. If something ain't on the level, you'll hear it. But Nancy, you might just stumble into something you don't want to hear. You best be ready for that. I'm guessing you're looking for the ghost hunting book I wrote, but I can't help you there. I'm out of copies myself. To be honest, Nancy, I don't mind helping you. But this whole ghost thing is a phase I'd sooner put behind me. Now, don't y'all worry about that now. Just a choice I made. <sighs> put it this way, Nancy. There are some jobs where being well-known makes for a dangerous life. Sometimes it's uh, smart to move on. Sure. Leave it at the counter, and I'll have Logan swing by to pick it up. He's like my own little Georgia bulldog. He can be a little aggressive sometimes, a little dopey at others, but always loyal. He's one of the good ones when you get right down to it. Not long now. He started right after I switched my focus to tech reporting. It's a long story, but chasing's not the safest career there is. Ain't nothing shocking in that. It wasn't just one thing. It was a lot of things, really. My daddy used to tell me, Sugar, y'all be careful what you go looking for in that big old world. Chances are, you gonna find it. It ain't what I found, honey. It's what found me. Exactly what I said, and that's the last you're getting out of me on the topic. You got anything else you need? It's a vengeful spirit that never knew justice here on the earth. They're said to be the spirits of those who've been wronged. And they're caught up in the worst moment you can imagine. They're very angry and very, very dangerous. If that's what you're dealing with there... You best be very careful. What makes you so sure? I don't know if I should be relieved or disappointed. I thought this one was for real. Whenever I see something I don't understand, I need to figure it out. But a little mystery in life 
Well, that's what makes life worth a living, I think. When I was a little girl coming up in Georgia, I remember those long nights when wicked old fall storms were blowing the town. I'd sit awake in my bed, too afraid to sleep. The lightning would be turning the tree branches into the most terrible monsters you can imagine. And just as soon as I was sure they were going to break through the windows and steal me away, I'd holler out for my daddy to come in and chase them away. But when he'd show me it was just the trees and the lightning, sure, I'd feel safe, but part of me would feel like a little bit of magic had disappeared from my life forever. I guess that's how I feel now. Nancy, you did a nice job over there. You should be real proud of yourself. Whatever comes next, I think if anyone can handle it, it's you. Not much to tell. I had to leave too soon. Such a sweet family. I hate to think of what those poor girls are going through. Losing their mother so young and then having them hauntings to deal with. Standing in those old falling apart houses. It was hard not to imagine ghosts coming round every corner. Used to scare me something bad, but somewhere along the road all the fear turned to curiosity. I guess you could say I was born into it. <laughs> My daddy'd always drag me with him to these spooky old houses, looking for broken down things to fix up. I guess that's where I got my start. The really scary things are the ones you'll never see. But I guess one of the most frightening places I've been was this little town in the middle of nowhere in Germany. I was there writing a chapter on an old castle that the locals all said was haunted. Hundreds of years ago, the castle had belonged to this terrible family. They had a reputation for all sorts of cruelty. At first, I didn't believe the stories, but the more exploring I did, the more I started to see some of the terrible things that had happened there. All those stories, they were true. Didn't find any ghosts. That would have been better, I think. Now, that ain't true. Yes. Nancy, I like you. So I ain't ever gonna tell you why. But I will tell you this. Don't go looking in dark corners lest you ready to live with knowing what's hiding there. Busy. But you know how that is, I'm guessing. <sighs> Logan wants to know... Now, wait a second. I'm not running a dating service here. Fine. Nancy, Logan wants to know... Nancy says Bess had a nice time. She's probably just being polite. Logan says, awesome. Now, is there anything else I can help you with, keeping in mind that this is not a study hall and I'm not your note-passing buddy? You take care now. Talk to you soon. Y'all stay safe now. Bye now. Bye-bye, Nancy. You've reached Savannah Woodham. I'm not available at the moment. Please try again. Nice job. No, uh, not quite right. The baths. The blue banner means the baths are for men. The red banner means women only. I don't know why we don't mention this at the front desk. This is useful information. Anyway, I'm Rentaro. I'm out in the garden if you need anything. You can't keep avoiding me. No. You keep promising me you'll talk to me about moving, and every time I bring it up to you, you freak. Is it not fair? Oh, shoot. Walk away, just like always. Well, maybe I won't be here when you get back. All right. I don't want to be here when you tell her. Ah, thanks, Nancy. Oh, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? Okay. No, Nancy. I'm not trying to scare everyone away. I am scaring everyone away. The Ryokan needs to close down. Look around you. Does this look like a good place? Everyone can sense it immediately. And it makes them leave. Everyone but you. But when I tell Miwako that you're here to collect info for Savannah's next book, you'll be out of here too. No one usually listens to that line because they want to believe in the ghosts. I didn't start that. They did. They wanted the show and I gave it to them because enough with them and enough of this place. I asked Miwako to leave. I even left myself. I can't leave Miwako here alone. I need to convince her to leave or close this place down. It doesn't matter to me. But you, it's time that you leave. Now. No, don't. I really screwed up here. Let me be the one to tell her. If I do, she might forgive me. Eventually. Whoops! <laughs> oh. Ow, that hurt. I'm busy. I can talk right now. We'll talk later. Hi again.
I'm Rentaro. It's nice to meet you, officially. So, um, you're still here. That's surprising. Nancy, perfect timing. I've got something really cool to show you. Hey, Nancy, finish up that puzzle? Did I say that? Whoops. <laughs> so, you're American, from New York City? Oh, okay. That's one of the places I always wanted to go. I mean, you'd have to be crazy to live there. But on the other hand, you'd have to be crazy not to live there. It's one of those, um, uh, unwinnables. Technically, it's a complicated thing we've got going on. I'm sort of like the handyman around here. So, should I bother getting to know you, or are you going to be like all of the rest? Get spooked in the middle of the night? Pack their bags and never come back? Even the ones who come to see the ghosts? <gasps> I shouldn't be telling you this. Oh well, already did. If you see Takaido, this conversation never happened. We got one of those, um, haunted hotspot guides. So we get a lot of ghost hunters here. And that's always a treat, because they're totally not obnoxious. Well, some people think this place is haunted. Kind of like some people think the moon landing was faked, and some people like adult contemporary. Don't be one of those people. Yeah, I'm reframing it. Although it's way harder to do than I thought it would be, it's got a really strange backing. Have at it! This thing is officially making me nuts! The tools you'll need are near the frame. She was an... investigator. She helped out with the investigation after Kasumi died. She was more of a paranormal investigator. I don't really believe in that stuff personally, but Takai wanted her here. I've known Takai since I was a kid, and let me tell you this from experience. It is impossible to guess what she's thinking, or why she does them... <sighs> what she does. Oh, I'm sure you'll find out. Hey, Nancy, looking for more puzzles? Nancy, so how are the puzzles going? Yeah, yeah, here you go. Bring it back if you want more. You, you like puzzles? You like puzzles? I figured. You're going to love this. It's called a nanogram. It's just another example of how awesome numbers are. Letters are cool and all, but they just make words. I mean, get with the game, letters. Numbers, on the other hand, get a few handfuls of those and you can make a bridge or send a person into space or express the makeup of our genetic code or... or they can make a neat picture. Take a look in here. All you need to do is look this over and finish the pattern. And when you're done, picture! Here, take this. Give it a shot. Bring it back when you're done and I'll give you something better. And there are instructions inside in case you get stuck. Awesome! Nice job! What do you think? I've got something better. You know it, you love it, the original, Sudoku! Great, great! I've got some good ones for you here. Oh, I'm glad I'm having you try this. It's one of the classics. This is the puzzle you see everyone working on in the subway in the mornings. You're going to love it. There are instructions in case you get stuck. Ha! I like your style, Nancy! That is the Mega Techno Prisoner Sudoku to end all Sudoku puzzles. Only a select few have solved it. But from what I've seen, I think you've got what it takes. No way. There's no better feeling than figuring out a really tough problem. I can't take that away from you. You'll figure it out. Way to go! So, what do you think? I've got one last type of puzzle to show you. This is one of my favorites. Renograms. It's all about creating an unbroken string of numbers. Tell me what you think when you're done. Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye on you, Nancy. You're trying to get me all wound up. Not a big fan. Great! I knew you would! Don't tell the other puzzles, but this is my favorite. Oh yeah, she's nuts about those booths. Every time I visit her place, we go at least once. Well, yeah, I mean, given the choice, everyone wants to live in the city. The country is fine, the mountains are great, but you look at one and you pretty much got it figured out.
It's big. It's rocky. It's a mountain. Case closed. But the city is interesting and quirky and confounding and amazing. Since I was a kid, I wanted to work in the tech sector. But now everything's moving so fast. And in 10 years, I can't even imagine. And you've got to be there to be a part of it. Your guess is as good as mine. I've been trying to figure that one out for a long time. Considering everything that's happened here, why would anyone want to stay? Oh, no problem. Easy fix. Just took a little steam to loosen the paper, a little new glue. No one will ever be able to tell. Just don't do it again. Or at least wait until the paper cuts heal. Ooh, I think thinking about paper cuts is way worse than getting them. Why did I bring it up? Oh, Suki. Yeah, I got her from the expo as a gift. I know, which is great, because that girl is hard to buy for. And it's been sort of a gift-heavy year. Either she's getting crazy sensitive or I'm becoming a huge jerk. Hmm, hard to say. It's definitely one or both of those things. <sighs> You must really want to know. The truth is, I don't really know myself. No one knows exactly what happened. Even the police were confused for a while. Whatever happened that night, it changed all of them. All of us, I guess. I know you want to figure things out, Nancy, but this story doesn't have a tidy ending. Do me a favor, though. Please stop bugging Miwako about it. You're really upsetting her. Took a swipe at you, huh? Oh, that's one of her mods. Don't take it personally. It's actually really clever. There are these command words you say, and then Suki changes into that mod. She'll be protective or aloof or silly. I did. Can't remember where I put that piece of paper. Oh, this. This is the Rentaro 4000! I saw that got inspired by Suki. A robotic dog! Or maybe just a robotic dog's leg. I'll be honest, I had no idea how long these things take to build. But then again, a dog's leg is not a good gift without the rest of the dog. So the borders on creepy come to think of it. Oh, definitely! She's my robotic muse! But she's not robotic, not that you'd think she is. <sighs> And this is why I work with machines. They're totally oblivious to awkwardness. Electronic voice phenomenon? That whole if you go to haunted places and record the ambient noise, when you turn it way up you'll hear things that are too quiet for the human ear. Ghosts, specters, all sorts of baddies. Nonsense if you ask me. But still, the idea sort of gives me the creeps. Oh sure, I got something that can do that. I've got a bunch of little recorders actually. I'm trying to find the right one to record new sounds for the Rentaro 4000. Here you go. All you have to do is hook it up to the speakers over there. I have a program that edits out dead audio. Ooh, bad pun. It'll cut right to the parts that actually have recorded sound. Oh, and once I've got it fixed, you have to check out the new recorder I sort of reversed engineered a little. It's awesome. I did a wireless transfer. Here's something you like, just push a button, it zips it to your computer. If you want to send everyone a message, you just speak into it, push send all, and it shoots what you've recorded to everyone's voicemail inbox. Very, very cool! I just gotta keep fussing with it. Oh, that thing. I sorta hid it a few years back and put a little hairline crack in it. Its days have been numbered for a while. Oh no, uh, don't worry. I'm just glad you didn't get hurt. Mirrors can be very dangerous when they're breaking. In more ways than one. Oh, oh, shards of glass and such. Not something to fool around with. Aha! You're a vampire! Seriously though, that's pretty messed up. Maybe you need to get a little rest. This place might be getting to you a little. Officially? Four years and seven months. Non-officially, longer. And before that, um, a long time of me waiting for her to stop being so stubborn and agree to go out on a date with me. At this point, I think she considers me part of the family. Or at least she lectures me like I'm one of the family. I'm choosing to interpret that in a positive light. Why wouldn't she be? The way guests have been filing out. 
But maybe she'll finally come to her senses and move to the city with me. You know how in the romantic movies the couple is only really happy together for like a minute at the very end? That's sort of how our relationship is, except the movie restarts every week. Honestly, it gets a little tiring sometimes. Ha! Huh, tell me about it. Yeah, it's not just a selfish thing. It's for her own good, too. She's pretty much the older sister you want to have. She's cool, she's adventurous, she's a pain. But no matter what, she's got your back. Although, man, can she be bossy. I'm sure she's already put you to work. That bossy thing is just her special way of saying, I am your boss, now do what I say. She can be a little tough, but she's really wonderful. She works herself way too hard, though. I wish I could get her to just relax a little. But you can't tell her to do anything unless you want a lecture back in return. I pretty much grew up here, and believe it or not, I was not always the saint you see standing before you. So, I've been on the sad end of a lecture or two. But I've overheard more. Always hilarious when they're not directed at you. As usual, no. But this time, a little worse than usual. <sighs> She's mad. Really mad at me. I need a way to cheer her up. Actually, yes. At the pachinko parlor, they've got this collar I keep meaning to get for Suki. If you could get that, it would be huge. Oh, Nancy-san, you are the best guest we've ever had. I'm going to go give this to her now. Please, excuse me. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Uh, things are fine. My dad and I moved in when I was about seven. Never got my room decorated right. Plus, this place has always been more fun. And Miwako's here. And I've got my workshop. It seems like I'm always running into those things. Guests leave them everywhere. Take a look around. I'm sure you'll find one. City superstitions. I don't get it. We have ghost hunters who come here to find ghosts. And if they think they've found something, they get all panicked and run away. I don't believe that anything is haunted. Ghosts uh, are just what happens when guilty people let their imaginations run wild. Think about it. Why do ghosts always want revenge? They're what people invent when they feel guilty. If that wasn't the case, then ghosts would want all sorts of things. But no, they always want revenge. Yeah, those poor people. Who knows? They were too upset to make any sense. But I took care of their room after they left. I admit, it was a little spooky. Everything was torn up, like someone had taken the whole ryokan and given it a shake, and the shoji had turned this dark ash color. Something weird happened in there. A few summers back, we were fully packed that night. It was festival time. There was this terrible scream coming from the baths. Next thing I know, the paramedics were there. This woman had seen something. She went into shock. She never said. A lot of people asked, trust me. But whatever she saw, or thought she saw, everyone else wanted to see it too. People started coming and pretending they could sense spirits or whatever. But a few of them... Uh, nothing. Never mind. It's nothing. Yeah, she spelled my name wrong. She's not a good speller. Maybe she's being haunted by the ghost of bad sparing. I remember when she was here. She was very... She has this way of looking at you. It's like she knows if you're telling her the truth or not. I'm glad she's back into regular journalism instead of this ghost nonsense. It really seemed to take its toll on her. She's the real deal. Not that I'm saying she can communicate with ghosts. But she really believes in all of that. And watching her, the way she'd walk around here in these half-terrified days, it made you worry about her. Because believing in something, that makes it real to you. To her, that whole other world is real. And that is still a very dangerous thing. A ghost doesn't need to be real to haunt you. Because believing in something, 
that makes it real to you. To her, that whole other world is real, and that is still a very dangerous thing. A ghost doesn't need to be real to haunt you. Sure. Put this back where you got it. No. Put this back where you got it. Put this back where you got it. The tree? The tree? The door? The door? I'm teasing. You're thinking of the deer scare. I'm teasing. You're thinking of the deer scare. It uses flowing water to make weird knocking noises that scare away the deer so they don't eat all of the flowers. I don't know. Deer still eat the flowers, but it's hard to tell if they're scared or not. Or that their expressions pretty much look the same. Kind of like this. Nice job, Nancy. That was the last of this batch. I'm impressed. Guess I should tell you a little something useful. Hmm. Oh, yeah. The pachinko parlor. Try using the machine on the right. I have it on good authority. That one has much better odds. You finished all of these? That deserves some sort of reward. Oh, wait. Since you're always asking questions about the hauntings, let me tell you something good. I've never taught anyone this before. I saw her once. Kasumi. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Or I know that it was the middle of the night, in a bad storm, and I was out here working. Lightning hit the old cherry tree that used to be over there, and when the flash lit up the yard, I saw her, saw someone, standing right next to the deer scare. I ran over to investigate. Nothing. She was just gone. Too bad I don't have anything for you. Check it out. I finished tweaking the other recorder. It's finally done. I know. Nice job, Nancy. You're a natural. It's rare to meet such a good puzzler. Anything you need, you let me know. People like you and me got to look out for each other. What's that? Bye. Bye. See you later. Catch you around. Peace out. Whoa, hang on. Man only right now. Whoa! 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 Uh, whoops! <laughs> Ooh. Ow, that hurt. Mm. I'm okay. Uh, don't worry, I do this all the time. Mm. Daijobu. Hello? Hi! Hey, hello? What do you mean? Okay, but I'll be watching. You'd better do it. What are you doing in here? You're the one trying to scare everyone away, aren't you? But why would you want to close this place down? I've got to find a way to keep him from escaping. Not so fast. I've got to find a way to convince everyone about Rentaro, quickly. He got away. I don't get it. You're the one who told me the ghosts aren't real. Why did you come back? Look familiar? It's been on this whole time. I just push this button and I'll send everything you said to every voicemail box in the place. Why shouldn't I, after everything you've done? Your ghost almost drowned me. Not a chance, Rentaro. <gasps> I'm Nancy. What do you mean, surprising? No, a place called River Heights. It's in... Do you work here? What do all of the rest do? Ghosts? What ghosts? So, people think this place is haunted? Is that the portrait from the lobby? Would you like some help? Do you know anything about the certificate behind the portrait? Who's Savannah Woodham? An investigator? This certificate seems a little less than official. Why did Takai want a paranormal investigator? What do you mean? Thanks. Here you go. All done. I guess you could say that. What's that? Okay. Okay. Sure. I finished the last nonograms puzzle. Eh, I loved it. Oh, I played that before. Sudoku? What's that? Have you ever seen one of those five-board Sudoku puzzles before? I'm not so sure. Maybe you could help me out. I finished up the Sudoku. It's not really my thing. I loved it. I finished up the renograms puzzle. Yumi sent me a great picture of the two of you. Yumi said that you want to move to the city. What do you want to do in Kyoto? Why doesn't Miwaka want to move into the city? 
What do you mean? Thanks for repairing my screen. <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. What's the story with Miwako's robotic cat? Miwako seems to really like Suki. Is Suki supposed to be so protective? Really? Do you know the commands? What are you building there? What's it going to be? Is it going to be a gift for Miwako? Have you ever heard of EVP? Savannah mentioned it in her book. I wonder if you know how I could try it out. I read about it in a comic book. I wonder if you know how I could try it out. Thanks. Okay, what's it do? Do you know what happened to the mirror in the baths? Sorry about breaking it. What do you mean? Something weird happened. When I looked in the mirror, I didn't see my reflection. You know what happened? So how long have you and Miwako been dating? What does Takai think of your relationship with Miwako? Miwako seems a little frustrated lately. How are things going between you and Miwako right now? I guess so. Miwako seems a little annoyed that you want her to leave the Ryokan. Are you going to keep it up? What do you think of Yumi? Yeah, a little. I take it you've been lectured by Takai before. Can you tell me anything about Takai? Are things not going well with Miwako and you? Can I help? Okay, I'll see what I can do. I got that collar for Suki. How are you doing? I sort of accidentally overheard you and Miwako. So you grew up next door? Why do you spend all of your time here when you live just next door? Do you know where I can get a card for the pachinko parlor? Do you know what's scaring the guests away? Do you believe that the Ryokan is haunted? I guess so. What do you mean? I saw some more guests just leave. They seemed pretty spooked. What happened? When did the Ryokan get a reputation for being haunted? What had she seen? What? Have you read Savannah's book? Do you think there's anything to what it says? What do you mean? If you don't believe in ghosts, why did you worry? Can you translate this for me? What's that wooden thing in the garden? No, the wooden thing that makes the knocking noise. No, the thing. Maybe. What is it? Oh, that's neat. Does it work? I finished the nanograms puzzle. Yeah? I finished the last of the renograms puzzles. Yeah? What's that? Saw who? I finished the last of the Sudoku puzzles. Stub, actually, you could do me a favor. Can you tell me what happened the night Kasumi died? I finished the Sudoku puzzle. Can I have another Sudoku puzzle? I'm back for more Sudoku. I finished another Renograms puzzle. I'm ready for more Renograms. I'm done with another Renograms puzzle. I finished the Nanograms puzzle. I finished another round of Nanograms. I'm back for more Nanograms. I'll let you go. I'll let you get back to work. I'll stop bugging you now. I'll talk to you later. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Can you tell me anything about Takai? Hi, I have a reservation under Nancy Drew. Bass, I'm glad I caught you. You sound pretty excited. Yes. I'm still getting settled in, but I'll be out to see you guys soon. Ryokan, it's great. A little strange, though. When I was checking in, a picture fell off the wall and everyone was really weird about it. Bye. What are you two talking about? Is her name Yumi? I should come to meet her. I have a few questions. Uh-oh, what? What tone of voice? What are you talking about? Maybe. I don't know exactly what is going on at the Ryokan, but it's really strange. Okay, you got me. I may have found a mystery. Well... Sure, anything for such a captivating, beautiful... Well, I'm a little wrapped up right now. Hey, thanks. You know I can't wait. I found a strange book about ghosts in Yumi's apartment with a note from the author. It had a dedication from the author, Savannah Woodham, to the Shimizu family. But the really weird thing is, there's a chapter missing. There's a business card with the author's number inside. But more importantly, the table of contents says the missing chapter was about the Ryokan. I called Savannah, but she's got a really protective assistant. Apparently, she's in Kyoto now, covering the expo for some tech magazine, so she's pretty busy. If I could get past her assistant, I could finally figure out what this whole book is about. Pretty sure. Have you seen the robotic cats they have here? Miwako has one. It's cute, but it's a little aggressive. 
Right, I need to figure out what it is. That would be amazing. Thanks. Were you able to find the word to calm Suki? Mate. Got it. Thanks. What's that? Mate. Got it. Thanks. I saw something really strange in my room. A shadowy figure showed up in my room, but when I looked out on the balcony, no one was there. It was like whoever it was just disappeared. Me too. I'm just not sure what it is yet. It was pretty scary, I admit, but I don't believe that someone could just disappear. That's what I was thinking. I'll keep an eye out for something like that. There were watery footprints in my room that led straight into a wall. Yeah, that's a nice offer, but I think I'm getting close to figuring out what's going on here. I will, promise. I looked in this mirror, and instead of seeing my reflection, I saw a ghostly image. Actually, I'm going to side with Bess on this one. Yeah, the mirror broke. So do you think it's possible it was rigged? I saw something really crazy at Yumi's apartment. One of the windows started to fill up with writing. I know your secret, Yumi. See you soon. The strange thing is, this is the first time that something creepy has happened outside of the Ryokan. I wish I knew. I had another strange run-in with a ghost here. I was in the hallway, and one by one the door started to slam, and I heard the sound of water dripping. It is a little creepy, I'll admit that. I just need to figure out how someone could do it. How's Kyoto? I'm not surprised. How's the expo going, George? That's okay. Thanks for trying. Did you get the avatar I sent you, Bess? Did you get that paper doll I sent, George? I don't know what to do to leave the Ryokan. Did you learn any more Suki commands? I think there's something pretty strange about Rintaro. Hard to say for sure. What do you guys think of Yumi? She seems to really dislike the Ryokan. Do you think she'd want to see it closed down? Takai is really difficult to talk to sometimes. I think she might be hiding something. How so? I'm not getting very far with Miwako. She never seems to answer my questions directly. I know who's behind everything. It's Rentaro, and that fake ghost of his almost drowned me. I'm not sure, but I'm going to track him down and find out what his problem is. Yumi sent me a great picture of you two. I'm working on it. I promise I'll see you guys soon. I got a great picture of you from Yumi, Bess. I wonder why she keeps sending me these pictures. So, Bess, what's the story with you and Logan? I'll see what I can do. I could really use a hint. I need help with nanograms. Can you help with Sudoku? I need some advice on renograms. I need help with making bento. Any advice on playing pachinko? I need some help opening this puzzle box. I need more help opening this puzzle box. I'm really stuck on this puzzle box. I need some help with the tiles in the baths. I need more help with the tiles in the baths. I'm really stuck on solving the tiles in the baths. I need help opening the locked box behind the check-in desk. I need more help with a locked box behind the check-in desk. I'm stuck on the locked box behind the check-in desk. I need help figuring out what to do with these pictures Yumi sent. I need help fixing the broken portrait. I need help solving the puzzle in the latticework in the pool area. I need help with a five-board Sudoku puzzle. I need more help with a five-board Sudoku puzzle. I'm really stuck with a five-board Sudoku puzzle. Oh, never mind. I could really use some help. Thanks. Hello. It was pretty good. Hello. The Ryokan Hiei. All right. Thanks for trying. Great. I'll let you go. I'll let you get back to work. I'll stop bugging you now. I'll talk to you later. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Hi, are you both on? Residents of a German castle are being terrorized by a fearsome creature, and it's up to me to crack the case. Once I arrive at the castle, I begin to suspect that there may be more to this monster story than just superstition. As monster sightings become more frequent and creepy signs begin appearing, I find myself in danger of becoming the monster's next victim. Join me as I try to solve the case without becoming another entry in the castle's long and grisly history in my next adventure, The Captive Curse. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
That smells awful. That was a little creepy. What's going on? What was that? What was that? Yuck. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. <sighs> Check. Did that. That's done. As always, your mission is to solve the mystery by stepping into my shoes and deciding my every move. To get from one place to another in the game, just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow pointing in the direction you want to go appears. An arrow pointing forward allows you to go forward, while a back arrow allows you to step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out Mr. Woogle Woggle. He's my teddy bear. When you want to turn around, move your cursor to the bottom of the screen until it turns into an arrow that looks like a U-turn or back arrow, and click. I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm on to something. When your magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. To see how this works, move your mouse over this scene until the magnifying glass turns red, then click to zoom in. See how the magnifying glass turned into a hand when you rolled it over the key? That means you can pick it up. When you click on an object with a hand cursor, that object gets added to your inventory. To see what's in your inventory, just click on the inventory icon at the bottom of the screen. To use an item that's in your inventory, just click on it. In fact, try clicking on the key. See how the cursor turned into the item you clicked on? Use the key to click on the lock on my suitcase, and you'll see how good I've gotten at packing. To return an object to your inventory, just click on the inventory icon, then click on the Open Inventory box, and the object will go back into storage. You can close your inventory by clicking on the square in the upper right-hand corner, by clicking on the inventory icon, or by clicking on another icon. I keep reminders to myself in my journal. Click on the notebook icon at the bottom left of the screen and you'll see what I mean. I try to keep my notes tidy by putting them into categories. Just click on a category and you'll see all the entries on that topic I've made up to that point in the game. Click on the clipboard icon and if you're a junior detective, you'll see a list of what I need to do. Organized person that I am, once I've done something, I check it off. The floppy disk icon allows you to name your current game, then save it or to simply save your current game without renaming it. And while we're on the subject, it's a good idea to save your game from time to time while you're playing, just in case. Click on the folder icon and you'll be able to load a previously saved game. Just scroll through the thumbnails, select the game you want, then click on Load. Or if you click on New, you can start a new game. The gear icon allows you to determine how you experience the game. For instance, you can choose to play the game in a window on your computer screen if you want. You can also adjust the volume of the music, voices, and sound effects, as well as turn off the closed captioning text and change the color of the background mat. If you have to stop playing and leave the game, just click on the exit icon. Questioning suspects is something all detectives need to know how to do. In the game, to get people to talk to you, all you have to do is click on them. Let's say I've clicked on Mr. Woogle Woggle here. Our conversation will appear in the text box with his words in yellow and my responses in blue. Click on a response and see what your suspect says next. Excuse me, giant human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. <laughs> I mean, compared to mine. Excuse me, Mr. Woogle Woggle, but I'm not nosy. I'm just very curious. You think so? Usually people only call me nosy when they're hiding something. And you seem to be pretty gabby, especially for someone who doesn't even have a mouth. If there are a lot of words in the text box, use the scroll bar to move the text up and down so you can read along. Before you can start playing, you need to decide whether to play as a junior or senior detective. If you choose junior detective, you'll get more hints than you will if you're a senior detective, and the puzzles will be a little easier. When you're ready to start playing, just click on the plane tickets and hang on to your hat. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. 
It's really helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. You may occasionally see a question mark in the upper right corner of the top mat. If you click on it, it'll bring up a tip on how to manipulate the current puzzle. Your cell phone has lots of features, phone, camera, clock, messages, and settings. Each mode can be accessed by selecting its icon from the main menu. Phone mode stores all the numbers you'll need to know. Scroll through to the name of the correct contact and press call. Be sure to check in with Bess and George from time to time. You can personalize your contacts list with images sent to your phone. Choose the Options button in Contacts to go to the scrollable gallery of available images. Camera mode allows you to take and view photos. When in camera mode, you can zoom in and pan before taking the picture. Click on View Photos to see your saved photos. Set your alarm to take a break and wake up hours later by entering Clock Mode. Any text messages you receive will show up in the Messages mode. And the Settings menu allows you to personalize the look of your phone by choosing one of the options in each drop-down. Stub. Oh, all I have to do is pull this... Uh-oh. Uh, anybody got a shovel? Hi, is your name Yumi? Not yet. I'm Nancy Drew. That's me, the friends with Bess and George. But I don't know how to make bento. Sure, sounds good. Do you know what's going on at the Ryokan? What's the story with the Ryokan? Could you tell me a little bit about the Ryokan? I was hoping for an insider's opinion. Yes, exactly. I know you're busy, but I helped you out with bento, and all I want is a little information. Okay, I helped you out. Will you tell me a little bit about the Ryokan now? That's persuasive, but not exactly what I wanted to know. I was hoping you could tell me a little about some of the strange things that have been happening. Sure. I'm sorry, I'm too busy. Okay, okay, I'll help. Thanks. What's it do? Oh, never mind. Would you like a phone charm? 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 How's about a phone charm? I really like your apartment. When did you move out of the Ryokan? I met your sister, Miwako. You two seem pretty close. Miwako seemed a little upset about the Ryokan. Do you know anything about that? Does Miwako like working at the Ryokan? So you don't want to take over the Ryokan? I don't understand. If you're the one who's supposed to take over the Ryokan, why is Miwako the one working there? If Miwako left the Ryokan, who would run it? I'm just sort of naturally curious. What do you mean? Your grandmother seems a little hesitant to talk to me. What does Takai think of you working here? What do you think of Rantaro? He seems nice. There's something a little weird about him. That is what I meant. Okay, there is something a little weird about him. What do you mean by fake little brother? Have Miwako and Rantaro been dating long? Is it just me, or do things seem a little strained between Miwako and Rentaro? I don't really know. It's just an impression. Miwako seems a little annoyed with Rentaro. Do you see Rentaro much? Do you know why he's so eager to move to the city? Do you know what Rentaro wants to do once he moves to Kyoto? Your outfit is very... interesting. <laughs> Where did you get it? Your outfit is very interesting. Where did you get it? You make your own clothes? Oh, what's that? Sounds great. I don't usually have time to keep up with the latest fashion trends. Hey! Can you tell me a little bit about what happened with your mother? Is there a better time, maybe when you're not at work? I saw the article about what happened to your mother. It said that you were the first one to find her. That must have been very hard. Can you translate this article for me? I found Savannah's ghost book in your apartment. Can you tell me more about that? I found Savannah's book in your apartment. Can you tell me more about that? But she did a chapter on the Ryokan. I got that picture you sent. How did you do all of the designs? 
That sounds pretty cool. I don't get it. That last picture of you is great. I really like the picture of you and Rentaro. Great picture of Bess. Love that last picture of you and Bess. I love the picture of George. Love that last picture you sent. There's a hidden message in all those pictures you sent, isn't there? All of these pictures together show a set of numbers in Japanese. This can't just be a coincidence. You're trying to tell me something, aren't you? I'm positive. But why would you do that? Why not just ask me? But what do these numbers mean? Can you tell me a little bit more? What do you mean? No, I'm sure I'll figure something out. Yes, I am. Thanks. I don't think that's a good idea. Why do you have a book on shadow puppets? Could you use something like this to make spooky shadows from far away? Say, a balcony? Miwako seems like she's having sort of a rough week. Has she said anything to you about it? Really? Like what? Do you believe that the Ryokan is haunted? What do you mean? And then? Okay, I get it. You don't believe in haunting. Okay, I get it. You don't believe in ghosts. But you have to admit that things have been pretty strange since your mother... I think someone was outside your apartment trying to scare you last night. I woke up in the middle of the night and there was this weird writing on the window. And it said, I know your secret, Yumi. See you again soon. I wasn't trying to be funny. It's true. I'm not. I promise you. What does it mean? What was she right about? I watched that DVD at your place. It was very strange. Shouldn't I have? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Yumi. What do you mean? I'm ready to help with more bento. I'll let you go. I'll let you get back to work. I'll stop bugging you now. I'll talk to you later. I should go. I'll talk to you later. I'll stop bugging you now. It is a pleasure to meet you, Parapali. I am sorry for the way I behaved when you first arrived. It was very impolite. Please, forgive me. Nancy, today I have a very important lesson. We will learn origami. Nanasi-san, today we learn chado, the tea ceremony. That is very kind of you to say, but I must always worry about the guests who stay with us, especially now. Are you here for a lesson today? I offer lesson in traditional arts to anyone interested in learning. I have much to show you. Yes, we will get to that. But first, today you will be learning katakana. To the outsider, katakana always looks far more difficult to learn than it is. You just need to be patient and you need to learn to see more than you are used to seeing. There is a book to help in the chest. Practice until it looks like your name, Nancy, not just some lines. Although there are many Nancys in the world, your name belongs to only you. It has always been yours. You must try until what you see on the paper is not just a word. It is you. Very well done, Nancy. This is the best I've ever seen from a new student. I knew you could do this well. Leave this to dry, and I'll have it brought to your room to remind you of your success. Origami has been around in many forms for centuries. Master Yoshizawa brought the art back before it could disappear. There is a grave danger, Nancy-san, in forgetting. If the whole world forgets a thing or a person, then it is gone forever. I have for you here a selection of origami patterns, a few steps away from the last step. You must simply match the pattern to the completed design. They are perfect, absolutely perfect. You have many talents, Nancy-san. It is much more than making tea. 
It is the perfect exercise of balance and courteous friendship. Many spend their lives perfecting the ceremony, but today I will simply be teaching you the basics. The tea ceremony is foremost a gift. You are preparing a very special visit for friends, and preparing to make certain every detail is perfect. Now there is a lot to learn. Be ready. I'll be asking you questions once I've finished. Wonderful, Nancy San. Absolutely wonderful. I would be honored to be invited to take tea with you. She will. She is just like her mother at that age. She listens to no one, not even herself. You do not understand. That is not how it works. It is not what Kasumi wants. Nancy San, I am sorry, but I am very tired. I should rest. She would have been quite fond of you. She always loved people who think for themselves, and she loved stubbornness. That is not always a bad quality, Nancy San. Kasumi herself is very stubborn. Was very stubborn, but it made her the most beloved of the children in her school when she was young. She could never stand to see injustice done to others. It made me very proud of her, but that also has its bad side. I'm sorry, I shouldn't bore you. You must not worry about these things, Nancy San. It is not always good to be so curious, Nancy San. You probably think I'm silly, but I do. Why do you ask? I'm sorry. I must prepare. I have more lessons. What do you mean? It, it's nothing to worry about. I'll have it removed. No, just don't worry about it. It is nothing. Can I help you with anything else? Yes, Nancy San. This isn't a trick someone is doing. Kasumi, she is still here. I can feel it. She's trapped and she's scared. And she's angry. When I was a girl, the most beautiful sparrow from the garden flew into my room. I had been trying to lure it in with seeds I'd stolen from the gardens for weeks. At first, I was so excited to have her in my room, but not for long. She couldn't find her way back out. She became very scared. Threw herself into the walls in a panic. I was so worried she would die. She was so small, and so frightened. I opened the windows wide, and snuck out of the room to let her calm down. An hour passed, then two, three. I'd opened the door, and still she'd be there, crashing into the glass. Trying so desperately to get free, Cosme is still here. I must help her. She did not have a will. She was too young. No, you don't understand what you found. Whatever that says, she didn't mean it. No, you don't understand. Stop! Stop! You're wrong. You. You are right about the will. I knew what Kasumi wanted. I wouldn't expect you to understand. I can't lose them too. Yes, there is. There is too much sadness for them here. They've forgotten about how things used to be before, before she died. They've forgotten about how this used to be. Our home. I would never do that. You must. Kasumi was so special to me. I would never use her memory that way. Never. I know you mean well, Nancy San. You can't help us here. But thank you for trying. The police said it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. It was my job to take care of the bass. I was supposed to be there. 
She, she was supposed to be meeting with that penpal friend of hers downtown. She was so excited to go. I should have let her go. I should have taken care of everything myself. But I didn't want to. I didn't like her going into the city. I didn't like that penpal of hers, always getting her so wound up about leaving here. So, I played sick, so she couldn't go. The pool ledges are very slippery. You must know where to walk. There was a reason I never let her do that part. But I wasn't thinking about that. I was too selfish. She drowned that night in the bats. It should have been me down there, and she knows that. You don't understand. It is different for a parent, Nancy San. I don't know if I can do that. Those two are so different. When they were children, you couldn't keep them in the same room. Always so much fighting. That has not changed, except now they say they're in love. No, I taught her how to cook for many years. I should not have to sit on the train to try her bento. You're an only child, aren't you? Siblings fight. Let me give you some advice. If you ever have children, Nancy San. And they are not fighting. It generally means they are hiding something that they have just broken. I don't recognize the name. I said I do not know who she is. I'd be happy to, Nancy San. Why would you give me this? Put it back where it goes now. Since I was born, I have, but I never found anywhere. I wanted to be as much as here. No, not at all. I wanted to travel. I fell in love with the Rio Khan, the guests, the seasons. I realized that I wanted to take care of it. I wanted my daughters to have the chance to know it here. No, my young guest. She met some man from overseas. She never has visited. Says it's too far. Wants me to visit. She knows I can't leave here. She did not even come home for the funeral. Of course, he would have been very impressed with you. He loved questions too. My friends would say, "Tell him enough with the interrogations." But if he liked someone. He wanted to know everything. No, it is new. We have developed a reputation, and for many years I've wanted to teach our guests. What do you mean? It was the wind, the power lines, and shadows. This is nothing to worry about. Yes, of course. I sleep here, but my home is out there in the gardens. Even when the whole earth is covered in snow. I am happiest there, waiting for the first flowers to break through the frost. Do yourself a favor, Nancy San. Find a small piece of earth that begs to be made perfect, and do whatever it asks of you. You will thank me. It is yes, yes. It is very important to all of us. You would be upset if something you love broke. No, that was all. You must be mistaken. No, it is not wise to joke about these things. I do not want to talk about it. The world around has become a million different things since I was a girl, and I do not have to tell you that many changes have not been so good. But in here, the world does not change. I am used to this question. Tradition is very often made fun of or ignored, but tradition is how we know ourselves, Nancy San. The traditions of your family are how you know yourself. 
Tradition is a burden in many ways. I understand this. But imagine not knowing who you are or where you come from. It would be very lonely, I think. It is tradition. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nancy-san. Come again. Please visit again, Nancy-san. Goodbye. Hello, Nancy-san. Hello, Nancy-san. Hello, Nancy-san. Stub, not yet. What am I supposed to be doing? Going? Where are you going? Wait! I guess I'd better get to work. Hey, I did it! It was pretty cute. Another order out the door. These are starting to look pretty good. I'm going to be a bento master in no time. All right, another order down. Phew, it's busy here today. Nancy Drew, bento chef extraordinaire. All right, who's next? Step right up. Another successful order. Savannah Woodham. That's the author of this book. I should hang on to this. Having her phone number might come in handy. These must be what Yumi was talking about. It looks like there's a message hidden in the borders. I need to translate this. It's too late. The trains aren't running. Trains are done running for the night. I'm too late to take the train. That channel is full. Can't record there. It's full. I think I should check out what I recorded. It looks like I got something. I should check that out. Don't want to record over that. These look like the numbers for one of Rentaro's nonogram puzzles. That wasn't read before. I got the backing off the portrait. It looks like I could pry this open if I had the right tool. That Yurei comic looks interesting. I should check it out. I'd like to see what the comic has to say about hauntings. I should buy that comic. Looks like there are some rocks missing. I wonder if I could find them around the garden. The symbols here seem to represent something. I need to figure out what they mean. Oh no! I'd better find a way to cut these cords in half, and fast! I did it! Another one down. No puzzle stands a chance. Take that, puzzle. You're solved. Solved it. Done. All right. I'm pretty good at this. Nailed it. What's going on? Ah! It sounds like she threw something in the pond. I should check that out. I should listen to this first. It looks like I recorded something. I should check that out. I'd better listen to that before I delete it. I should go back and play this at Rentaro's place. Hmm, I need a way to open this envelope without anyone knowing I did. I need to find out which rooms haven't been occupied. It looks like this is as far back as the records go. I need to hurry before someone catches me. I should get the teapot off the fire. <gasps> Someone's been in here. It looks like whoever left those footprints walked right through the wall. I got it. This must have meant something to Kasumi if she went through so much trouble to hide it. Nope. That doesn't look right. Better start again. Oops, I should try again. That's not how it's supposed to look. Looks like I'll need a password. I bet the password I need is in that envelope in the puzzle box. I wonder if Miwako hid the password somewhere around here. I should pick a channel first. I need to assign a channel for the recording. Once I pick a channel, then I can record. I need to go to the origami book to do this. I should use the origami book as a reference. The origami book in Takai's room would be helpful right about now. I need to translate that. I bet I could translate that. I should find a way to translate that. I need a dictionary to translate that. It's men only right now. I'll have to wait until later. Can't go in there right now. I'll have to wait until the banner changes color. I don't have the right key. Can't get in there right now. This isn't working. I don't think this is the right key. It's not the right key. Wrong key. I might be able to use this. If I have something to send, this might come in handy. This could be useful. I should talk to Yumi first. I need to talk to Yumi first. Can't sleep here. This would be a strange place to sleep. I think I'll sleep somewhere more reasonable. I can't take a nap here. A hidden compartment. Who would hide something here? I'm getting out of here, now. I already printed that one. I already have that picture. I don't need another copy of that picture. Ugh, creepy. I don't think I need to keep this one. Ah, whoa, that's a little hot. Nothing helps solve a mystery like a hot bath. Ah, 
All mysteries should involve hot springs. Can't use my phone here. Shouldn't talk on my phone here. Can't talk on my phone now. This isn't the time to use my phone. It's too late to call. It's a little late. I should call tomorrow. I can't make a call this late at night. I'd better wait until tomorrow to call. I have to finish this before making a call. I should finish this up first. Can't call until I'm finished. I can make a call later. I can't get out. The door won't open. What's going on? It's locked. I can't get out. Something is strange about these pictures. I should find a place to print them out. Whoa, I've never seen that room before. It's teacher time. Let's see how they did. Time to grade some papers. All right, let's grade some homework. Grading time. Oops, already stamped that one. Already did that one. Don't need to stamp that one again. That must be the collar that Rentaro was talking about. I should really get that collar for Rentaro. Rentaro seemed like he really wanted that collar. What's this? I should hold on to this article. It looks like something is missing here. This one seems a little different than the other recorder. I should take it with me. I should translate this and figure out what he's up to. Whoa! What is going on with the water? That's not quite right. I should try again. Not quite. Time to try again. Hmm, better try again. Whoops, another mistake. Well, that's what the extra paper's for. Almost. If I just keep practicing, I'll get it. It never hurts to practice. It could be fun to practice a little. More calligraphy. Hmm, what should I write this time? Locked. I need a key to open this door. Locked. What's that? Interesting. This looks important. I better hang on to it. This isn't it. Not quite. I should keep trying. Hmm, that's not it. That's not right. I'd better try again. Wow, George wasn't kidding. This does look hard. Yes, finally got it. It's late. I should get to bed. Better call it a night. It's really late. I should get to bed. How'd it get so late already? I should get to bed. I'll be teaching then. I should set the alarm for later. Can't set my alarm for then. I'll be at the school. I'll be teaching then. I should set the alarm for later. I'll be busy then. I should set the alarm for a later time. Yeah, I won! Oh, yeah, I'm on a roll. Won again! Cool, I win again! Yeah, I won! I'm getting pretty good at this. I could use this to print pictures from my phone. What was that? It must have just been my imagination. <laughs> I should try to get some more sleep. Oh no, the screen tour. I better tell Mawako about this tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. I should try calling Bess. The joint near the elbow looks a lot like what Rentaro was working on in his shed. Stub. It looks like I need to find a way to make sure none of the wires are crossing. This is just a phrase book. I can't translate something as long as this article. This carving must be the trigger to the secret passage that Savannah mentioned. This looks like bamboo. I should search the property for something made out of that. This must be the recorder Rintaro was talking about earlier. I'll take this and leave the other one here. I better not record anything right now. I might need to use this later. Not now. I've got to find Rintaro. I shouldn't fill this up now. I might need to use it later. These look like mirror images. I bet if I could match these up perfectly, I could get out. That's strange. It's not working anymore. I should find another way in. Hello? What's going on? It looks like someone tore out one of the chapters. I can't leave until morning. The trains aren't running this late. I should stay here until morning. Four is supposed to be an unlucky number here. I wonder if that's a coincidence. Nothing here. Better keep looking. It must have landed around here somewhere. Nothing here. I don't see anything here. I need a ticket to ride the train. I can't get on the train without a ticket. I need to find a train ticket. 
I can't afford that. That costs too much. I can't afford that right now. Hmm, strange. I've seen those markings before. That looks like the image on the letter. There's a hidden message. I need to talk to Yumi about this. It looks like I need another set of numbers. It's a masterpiece. I couldn't bear to change a single stroke. I shall start again with a new sheet of paper. This looks important. I should figure out where I can use it. That's not going to do it. That won't help me catch Rentaro. Nope, that's not right. It looks like they really wanted to keep people out of here. I wonder why. I definitely don't want to go in there. It's really murky. I don't even want to know what's down there. I don't like the looks of that pool. I should wait until Takai is gone before doing this. Ouch! That's too hot! Ah! That fire is hot! Not surprisingly. I can't use this right now. I should wait until Takai is gone to open this. I need a card to play this game. I need to find a card first before I can play Pachinko. I don't need to put this back here now. I don't need to do this now. It's not tea time. I should use a stamp. I could use those stamps to help grade these papers. I should use those stamps to grade. All right, it's open. I can't take this if Takai is here. It doesn't work. I should find something that matches that symbol. Recording the sight of a haunting might actually be a really good idea. I should look into that. Dear Hannah, Rentaro left and never returned to the Ryokan. To this day, no one knows where he went. When I told Mawako and Takai what he'd been up to, they were furious and relieved. After living in the shadow of Rentaro's hauntings for so long, they were finally able to feel at home again in the Ryokan. Rentaro confessed to Mawako and Takai. It was not a pretty sight. After many months of apologizing and begging, Mawako agreed to allow Rentaro to undo some of the damage he'd done to the Ryokan's reputation. Instead of scaring away guests, Rentaro was using his skills to modernize the Ryokan in small, Takai-approved ways. Mawako broke up with Rentaro after he confessed. He's hopeful that one day she'll change her mind. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were him. Once the girls found out Kasumi's true wishes, everyone agreed that the Ryokan should be passed on to Mawako. Mawako accepted the position. As the official owner, she started to really enjoy her work, and it shows. Now that there's no pressure to take over the family business, Yumi's been spending more time at the inn. She's even agreed to expand her business to include catering to the Ryokan. Thanks to Yumi's incessant pushing, Mawako finally agreed to spend a little time in the city. From the looks of it, she had a great time. No longer worried about losing the Ryokan, Takai is finding herself busier than ever. Her classes in the traditional arts are booked for months in advance. She said she'd always fit me in for a calligraphy lesson, even if it may be a bit of a lost cause. From what I hear, the Ryokan's no longer the creepy place I remember. Customers are returning with a vengeance. Guess that means it'll be harder for me to get reservations next time I visit. As for me, I finally got to spend some time on the town with Bess and George, and it was worth the wait. From the boutiques to the traditional cultural exhibits throughout the city, I don't think we've ever had so much fun on a trip. See you soon. Love, Nancy. After a string of tough mysteries, I've decided it's time to take a break to do a little sightseeing. I'm taking P.G. Krollmeister up on his offer to send me to his favorite Ryokan, or traditional inn, in Kyoto, Japan. I'll spend the days teaching English and my nights with Bess and George, exploring the sights, fashion, history, and nightlife of downtown Kyoto. From what I hear, the inn I'm staying at is known as one of the scariest places in the city. I'm not sure why people say that. I might have to poke around a little to see what's really going on at the Ryokan Hie. Suki, tate. Tate koi. Suki, buru wa. Shizukani. Omowari. Oyatsu. Hey, Suki, you're not even a real cat. Suki, mate. I should keep exploring. I don't have time for this right now. I'd better get back to the case. Suki, who's a good girl? Who's my favorite robotic cat? What's up, cat? Suki. Hi, is this Savannah Woodham? 
Hi, I understand you do paranormal research. Can you help me with a case I'm working on? Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. I'm staying at the Rio Con Hie. Something really strange is going on here. No, I promise. It's the truth. I saw your book. I thought maybe you could help. I'm not leaving until I figure out what's really going on here. No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this with or without you. But I could really use your help. Nothing too useful. What's that? I will. I saw a really creepy, shadowy figure on my balcony. Do you think that could be faked? Yeah? I found watery footprints in my room. They were already there. Why is that? What do you mean? I think I ran across a trick mirror here. Yeah, how did you know? What's that? So it was broken, so I couldn't figure out how it was faked. Have you run across someone rigging doors to slam before? What's the best way to do something like that? Hmm, that makes sense. What should I keep an eye out for? Do you remember what room you stayed in at the Rio Con? Do you remember anything? A passageway? To where? Can you think of anything else about the room you stayed in when you were here? Can you think of anything else about the room you stayed in when you were here? Can you tell me about the certificate you gave the Shimizu family? Why did you leave one here? What do you know about EVP? How's that? How do you mean? It doesn't sound like you think it works. Yeah? Do you know where I can get a copy of your book? Why is that? There must be some reason. I understand you were pretty well known. Can you help me translate an article I found? No one else is willing to. What's the story with your assistant, Logan? How long has he been working for you? Why did you change careers? What happened that made you give up ghost hunting? What did you end up finding? What do you mean? What is a yure? Whatever's going on here is definitely a hoax. The ghost I've been seeing this whole time? It's just a puppet. What do you mean? I know exactly what you mean. Can you tell me anything else about your stay here? How did you get into ghost hunting? What is the scariest thing you've seen while ghost hunting? Logan told me you're writing a second ghost hunting book. Something happened to make you stop writing the book, didn't it? What happened? How's the expo reporting going? Tell him she had a very nice time. I'll let you go. I'd better get going. Bye. I'll talk to you later. I should go. Stub. What was that about? Why is she upset? Why is that? You said shortly before... Shortly before what? That guest seemed pretty upset. That was the last customer, wasn't it? I don't scare easily. Your grandmother seemed very upset about the portrait breaking. Thanks. What is a Riacon? How long has the Riacon been in your family? So one day you'll pass this place on to your daughter? That must be very nice. Oh, is that a robotic cat? Is that a robotic cat? I've never seen a robotic cat before. What does it do? Oh, that's great. I met Rentaro. Who is he? Have you two been dating long? It seems like you and Rentaro were pretty close. How long have you two been dating? You sound a little frustrated. What do you mean? I'll let you get back to work. It's not a bother. Why is that? How does your grandmother feel about the Riacon? What does she think of Yumi not working here? What do you mean... Do you think Yumi's ever going to come back here to run the Ryokan? Why doesn't Yumi work here at the Ryokan? Why doesn't Yumi work here? Do you and Yumi get along? How long have you been fighting? So I take it you're not very close. Did you and Yumi ever get along? Did you and Yumi ever get along? She doesn't seem very bratty to me. She does seem a little demanding. Do you want to manage the Ryokan? Why not? I still want to help. Maybe I should let you go. I found an old article. Can you tell me what it says? I tore one of the screens in my room. I'm really sorry. Great, thanks. When I tore the screen, I think I saw someone on my balcony. Maybe you're right. It wasn't my imagination. I saw someone walking on my balcony, and then she just disappeared. I'm sorry, the mirror broke when I was in the baths, but before it broke, I saw the image of a woman who wasn't in the room with me. Okay, but I saw something. I'm sure of it. Maybe you're right. I know what I saw. 
Is Suki wearing a new collar? Do you remember anything about Savannah, the paranormal author? She must have been here for a while if she was writing about the Ryokan. You don't remember anything? I saw a certificate certifying that the Ryokan was cleansed of all ghosts and spirits. Can you tell me about that? So you don't know anything about it? Behind the portrait I helped Rentaro repair. What happened to your mother? Why won't anyone give me a straight answer about what happened to Kasumi? I know what happened to your mother. It was an accident. I think you, all of you, blame yourselves. Why? But you didn't know. Do you think that the Ryokan is haunted? What has been scaring the guests away? I hear this place has a reputation as a destination for ghost hunters. Why does Takai think your mother's ghost so you don't believe it? If you didn't work here, what would you do? So how are things between you and Rintaro now? Was Yumi here earlier? Really? I'm sorry I missed her. Why is that? Why do you think that is? From what I understand, the Ryokan has quite the reputation for being haunted. Has that been difficult for business? Can you think of anyone who would stand to gain if the Ryokan went out of business? What about someone else, on the outside? Can I leave this here to be picked up? Thanks. Can I leave this here for my friend to pick up? I'll let you go. I'll let you get back to work. I'll stop bugging you now. I'll talk to you later. I should go. I'll talk to you later. What's going on? I should listen in. Oh no, sounds like another unhappy customer. I should listen to what's going on. Can I speak to Savannah Woodham, please? Interviews? No, I actually want to speak to Savannah about a book she wrote. Really? Why's that? Did you just hang up on me? Yes. I can't promise that. Yes. Why? So you can hang up on me again? All right. What? Oh, I see. Well, I was talking to her, and she really wants a copy of Savannah's book. That's okay. Bye, Logan. Have you finished translating the article yet? I really need a copy of Savannah's book. Can you help me? No, I meant, could you send me a copy? How long have you been working for Savannah? Were you able to find a copy of the book? I'll see what I can do. I know of a program that might be just the thing. Good. So you'll be sending the book? <sighs> Whatever works. But the sooner I get that book, the better. So, what did Bess think of her gift? What happened to Savannah? Why doesn't she work with paranormal cases anymore? I gathered that, but can you tell me? Then what has she told you about? Second ghost book? Bye. I'll let you go. I'll stop bugging you now. I'll talk to you later. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Hello? Hi, you've reached Nancy Drew, amateur sleuth extraordinaire. Leave a clue and I'll track you down later. You've reached Nancy Drew, amateur sleuth extraordinaire? I'm on vacation and not taking any more cases. I'm in Japan, so sayonara. Of course, don't worry. It's nice to meet you as well. Great, let's get started. Tea ceremony? What do you mean, especially now? Sounds great. Actually, I'd rather ask you a few questions about the Ryokan. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Sounds great. Actually, I'd like to ask you about... Thanks. Why doesn't Yumi want to work here? Why can't Miwako just take over the Ryokan? But she's here now. What do you mean, wants? Can you tell me a little about Kasumi? Why's that? Hey! How so? What happened the night Kasumi died? Do you believe that people have a sense of what's to come? Did Kasumi believe this? Was she worried about things before the accident? Did you rewrite my name in red ink? The name scroll in my room. It's red now. Thank you. Isn't it a bad omen to have your name written in red? I need to know. Do you believe the Ryokan is haunted? Do you really believe that? Did she get out? Did you know about Kasumi's will? She did. I found it. How would you know if she didn't mean it? She told you what she wanted, didn't she? And you ignored it. Oh, I understand perfectly. You didn't tell the girls what their mother really wanted because you're afraid of losing the Ryokan. You made up all of this ghost business to scare the girls into doing what you want. I don't buy it. What do you mean? Then why did you hide it from them? Try me. 
There's no guaranteeing that they'll leave if they know the truth. But why would you fake these hauntings if you want them to stay? I don't believe you. I think maybe I jumped to a decision too quickly. What really happened to Kasumi? I need to know. What did happen? I don't understand. You can't blame yourself for that. I do. Accidents happen. As much as we wish they didn't, you can't keep everyone safe, no matter how hard you try. Miwako and Yumi blame themselves, too. If you can't let Kasumi go, how will you be able to help the girls? What do you think about Rentaro and Miwako dating? Have you been to Yumi's bento stand? It's great. You'd love it. Why not? Why do Yumi and Miwako fight so much? Well, yes, but... Do you remember when Savannah Woodham visited? She's the one who wrote about the Ryokan. Can you translate this article for me? Have you always lived at the Ryokan? Have you ever left? Did you want to run the Ryokan when you were a girl? What happened? Daughters? Kasumi had a sister? I don't understand. Were you ever married? Your husband, he... Have you always offered classes? I love the gardens. Do you take care of them? What was that just a minute ago? I saw something. We fixed the portrait. I think it's back up in the lobby. Rentaro tells me that it's very important to you. Why were you so upset when it fell? There was more to it than that. I saw watery footprints in my room. It was very strange. No, I'm positive. I'm not. The Ryokan seems very important to you. Why do you want Yumi to take over the Ryokan? Any other reason? I'd like to try calligraphy again. I'd like to try learning origami again. I'll let you go. I'll let you get back to work. I'll stop bugging you now. I'll talk to you later. I should go. I'll talk to you later. A lesson? Yes. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Dare to play. She had an aunt down. It's in the door. Sir, please. Well, there's any more. Tell me she had an aunt down. Stub. Hi. Hi. Hello. Suki. Tate. I'm very sorry about that. My grandmother is just a little upset right now. I'm sorry about my grandmother. She's a little upset. That's not how she normally is. She's very superstitious. Please, don't worry about that. Here. It's a very special portrait. It's one of the two remaining images of my mother and it was taken shortly before. It's one of my grandmother's favorite portraits. I'm sorry. I... I have a lot of work that I should get to, and I've kept you here too long. You should be in your room getting settled. Here. Oh, hello, Nancy-san. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Trust me, I see a lot at this desk, and one thing never changes. Travel is disorienting. It's so very easy to get upset when you're far from home. That's why we try to make things as comfortable as possible. Yes, Nancy. It's just you. <laughs> So, make yourself comfortable. We are all here for you until something happens to scare you off too. This is your room key. Your room is on the second floor. I've already had your bag sent up. Please, my name's Miwako. Come to me if there's anything you need. Aryokan is almost exactly like a hotel or spa, but far more traditional. This ryokan has been in my family for generations. Passed down from mother to oldest daughter in order to preserve the traditional style, the food, the caretaking. Every little detail is as it would have been generations ago. A very long time. My grandmother says it has been passed down since the early 1700s. Well, I'm the younger daughter. My older sister Yumi will be the one to take over the ryokan. My grandmother is offering a few classes in traditional arts. She's in room 18 at the end of the hall. Yeah, Suki! Isn't she the greatest? Lentalo got her for me. I've wanted my own pet cat for forever, but I can't have one at the ryokan. I came into work one day, and there she was, right next to the sweetest note from Lentalo. She's not on it. She's Suki. It's okay, she didn't mean it. Actually, she doesn't really do much, mainly sits. But, oh wait, I just learned something neat. That's all I remember right now, but she can do a lot more. I should figure out what the rest of the commands are, come to think of it. 
Although, to be honest, it's a little more believable if she just does what she wants. Oh, Lentalo, he's my boyfriend. He's also a handyman around here. I'm sorry. I should really get back to my paperwork. But if you have any questions about the ryokan, please don't hesitate to ask. Yes, we grew up together. I have a few memories before Lentaro, but not many. I don't even know. A long time. Sometimes it's hard not to be with Lentaro. Never mind, I shouldn't be bothering you with this. It's just that when he gets it in his mind that he wants something, there's just no stopping him. He's been pressuring me to leave here. He keeps saying it'll be good for me, but really, he's just being selfish. I think. I really don't know. He can be so sweet sometimes, and other times it's like there's only him in the world. It's her whole world. She loves it more than anything or anyone she's ever met. It's a very sore subject for her. And honestly, I've heard too much about it already. Every day I'm here, making sure all is well. It would just be nice to hear her at least mention all of the work I do. Just once. I'm sorry this is nothing you want to hear about. If she knows what's good for her. She's very... My mother used to call her a free spirit. But that's a nice way of saying that Yumi's selfish and doesn't want to help. No. I'm not sure, but she probably picked a fight with me the day I was born. With us, the term isn't close, it's within striking range. So we both try to avoid that. Of course, but really. She really, she was a very good big sister to have after what happened with our mother. But soon enough, she was back to being the selfish, manipulated brat she is today. She's nice. When she's using people to get what she wants, she must want something from you. Not demanding, manipulative, and bratty. Trust me, I've thought this one through. Right now I have to, but it's not that simple. It just isn't. I've heard that before. Look, I'm sorry I shouldn't be upsetting you with all of this. Please, you're my only guest left. Let me at least make sure you have a good trip. Maybe you recommend us to your friends. Help? You want to help? Look around you. This place is beyond help. It was spooky and lonely before... Everything that happened happened. And now... Why do you think Yumi got out of this place as soon as she could? People come because they've heard it's haunted. They come here to be scared and even they can't take it. I'm sorry, Nancy. There's nothing you can do here. Help yourself and find somewhere safer to stay. Help? You want to help? Look around you. This place is beyond help. This place was spooky and lonely before. Everything that happened happened and now. Why do you think Yumi got out of this place as soon as she could? People come because they've heard it's haunted. They come here to be scared and even they can't take it. I'm sorry, Nancy. There's nothing you can do here. Help yourself and find somewhere safer to stay. Sure. Where did you get this? Where did you get this? You have no right to have this. You have no right to have this. Do not worry, Nancy-san. This happens often. Very easy to fix. Just a little steam to loosen the glue. I'll have Lentalo take care of it immediately. Right. It's nothing to worry about. The screens really distort things sometimes. I'm sure it was just your imagination. I'm sure of it. There's nothing to worry about. You're seeing things. It is just your imagination. Don't worry, Nancy. I'm sure it was nothing. I have Lentalo take care of it right away. Until then, please stay away. I don't want you to get hurt. You work too hard, Nancy-san. Up too late, off to teach so early. You must rest more. Your judgment suffers if you do not get enough rest. Nancy-san, please. I have to ask you to let me get back to work. Yes, doesn't it look perfect? Lintalo must have really put some thought into this. It fits perfectly and it goes so well with her eyes. He can be so thoughtful sometimes. I think it's time for me to do something nice for him. That was a long time ago. Not really. I remember that she asked too many insensitive questions. I was happy to see her go. What? That's no offense, but that seems sort of silly. A certificate? 
No. And where exactly did you find this certificate? Maybe you should stay away from what isn't yours. And maybe he should have the sense to know what is a family matter. I have to get back to work now. I shouldn't bother you with our problems, Nancy. Please, it is very nice outside, a perfect time to relax and enjoy your surroundings. You think you're entitled to a straight answer about my life, my mother's life? Who are you, Nancy? A stranger. You forget that too easily. You think you're entitled to a straight answer about my life, my mother's life? Who are you, Nancy? A stranger. You forget that too easily. I told you to... It wasn't an accident. But since you won't let it drop, you want to know why we all blame ourselves, Nancy? Because we were all here. We were all here that night and not one of us helped her. We all just let her die alone. Leave me alone, Nancy. Leave me alone, Nancy. By what? Ghosts? No. Ghosts aren't real, Nancy. Oh, nothing. They're not scared. It's something else. Can I help you with anything? We didn't ask for it. It's all that stupid book. Those people, they have no respect for anyone or anything. Stop. I don't indulge her, and don't you do it either. Stop. I don't indulge her, and don't you do it either. That's my mother you're talking about, Nancy. You forget that. I'd... You know, it's been so long since I've been asked that. I don't know. Something very different. Something exciting. With Lentalo. Couldn't be better. Yes. Don't be. Anyway, it's always Blink and you'll miss her with Yumi. You'd think she was allergic to this place. Which is fine by me. Look... I know she's fun at first, but it's like strangers get fun, Yumi, and all we get is touchy, angry Yumi these days. Oh yes, that is very popular with the guests. Here, take this. This card will allow you to try out machines, but it's only a demo. Although, many guests leave their cards here when they leave, so you may be able to find a card with a larger balance on it somewhere around here. It is true that we have the reputation. It is nothing you need to concern yourself over. No one I know. We all depend upon the ryokan. Even Yumi and Lentaro. No. There is no one else. Yes, it's no big deal. She thinks it's a bad sign that the portrait fell from the wall. Here, here. I'm sorry, sir. What exactly? Nancy, please be careful. There's too much broken glass. Stay back, please. That's very dangerous. Please stay away from there. It is very easy to get burned. Please don't hang anything up there. Don't touch that. What are you doing? Who's there? Nancy, what are you doing? Please be careful. You can't just do that. We're not all here to make sure that you get what you want, Yumi. You've got to be selfish about this, too. Everything's always about you. She asked one thing from you and you act like it's the end of the world. Why are you being such a brat? I can't believe you just did that. <gasps> Obasan, it only fell. I'm very sorry. She, She's just a little upset. It's not what you think. You're just imagining things. There was nothing there. Sir, please, we are not haunted. I have a delivery for you. I have a delivery for you. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very busy. Come back later. I should get to work now. Stop. I've had it. Leave me alone about this. You've reached Savannah Woodham's message service. I'm not in the office at the moment. Please try again. Can't talk right now. Sorry. Busy. Call back later. Savannah Woodham's office. Logan speaking. Logan speaking. Is this Nancy? Logan here. Nancy! I got the picture you sent. I'm going to take it to that boutique she mentioned and let them do whatever it is they do. Logan speaking. Hello, Logan here. Savannah Woodham's office. Are you one of our interviews? I'm Savannah Woodham's assistant. Is she interviewing you about the expo? Oh, great! I'm so glad you called. It's been like three days since I've gotten to hang up on anyone. I wonder if I'm still good at it. Logan speaking. Oh, absolutely! Between you and me, it was awesome! In fact, Logan here. All right. Savannah wants me to translate that article for you. I don't know what it is you said to her, but whatever you did to get her to talk about that paranormal garbage, you need to knock it off. You really don't get it, do you? 
This ghost stuff isn't a joke, especially not to her. Since I'm the one stuck picking up the pieces after she gets too wrapped up in one of her cases, I'm telling you, leave it alone for her sake and yours. Great, I'm so glad you called. Oh, that, don't take that personally. I'm an assistant. My job mostly consists of hanging up on people. That and remembering birthdays. I met your friend Bess, and this is probably awkward, but I know we haven't gotten off to the best start. But I'm really not a bad guy, and she's really cute. And maybe you could help a dude out? Well, she said she's going to be hanging around the expo, and maybe you could, like, tell me about what she likes, or maybe give me some idea of what I might say to fill the awkward pauses. You may have noticed, but for the last while I've been with Savannah, most of my conversations have been about ten seconds long, and they usually end up with me hanging up on someone, and I don't think that's going to cut it. Do you think you could help? Oh, I see what you did there. Okay. As a gesture of goodwill, I'll do it. And Nancy, I'm sorry I hung up on you. And Nancy, I might have to do it again. But should that happen, it's just business. Just about. I'll have it sent to you as soon as I finish. Sure. Bookstores are a great start. Or the internet is helpful. But I'm really more of a brick and mortar person, honestly. I suppose you could also go the books on tape route. TV's Ralston Palpers does an excellent job with the text. Really makes it come alive. Oh, nope, but thank you for asking. Started a few years back as a fill-in gig during spring break. Eventually she needed a long-term assistant, and the job was just too weird to turn down. I did, but before I send it, I need to ask you another favor. I want to get Bess a present. She said she was looking for the perfect outfit. I think that'd be a great gift, but I have no clue what to do in a clothing store. I sort of just freeze at the sight of hangers. I think it's genetic. Great, thanks. Yeah, I was thinking I'd give it to Bess, like, hey, here's that book you want, and since I'm here, let's get dinner, and I got you a present. Oh, no, I was going to ask you the same thing. Hmm, one of us should find out. I vote you. It's not something she likes to talk about. When we're traveling, I spend weeks with her just touring on buses, long plane flights, we talk a lot. I know everything about her childhood. Her best friend's dog's name from when she was five. Her favorite ice cream flavors. She's very chatty. Nothing. Not a single word. I've asked, and when I do, she just goes quiet and excuses herself. She's never told me to stop bugging her about it, but I can tell that she wants to. That's why I don't want you bothering her about it either. Whatever happened when she was writing the second ghost book, it really got to her. Wasn't supposed to mention that. It's a secret, and it's not done, so don't think you're going to get your hands on it. I don't even know if she still has the manuscript. She had me tell her publisher she burned it, but I don't know if that's the truth. Ask her if Beth had fun when we went out. Awesome! Would it kill you to ask after everything I do for you? Bye. See you later. Talk to you later. Oh, hi, Nancy. How's it going? Nancy, what's up? Hello? Conference me in already. No, hit the... No, the... We all on? It so isn't. How's the... whatever it is you're staying at? Huh. Oh no, our train's going to be here in a sec. Gotta go. We met this girl at a bento booth at the expo, and she grew up at the Ryokan you're staying at. Pretty crazy coincidence. I know that tone of voice. You're working a case, aren't you? So, what can we do for you? Am not! Anyway, there's a catch. He only shares secrets with the like-minded. He gave me this monster puzzle to solve, but I'm too busy with Expo stuff to solve it right now. Any chance that you could take a look at it? Uh, enough! I'll send it right over to you at the Ryokan. Hmm, I think so. Hard to say, the name sounds familiar. Was she the one with the magnifying glass or something? Just teasing! We'll send you the book. The faster you solve the mystery, the faster the three of us get to hit the town. What was in the missing chapter? Uh, nope, strike that. That is a dumb question. Wait, so this guy is at the Expo? Then we've got this one. Yep, we're going to find them, and you're going to flirt up a distraction. Yes, you are. And if it's a mortifying failure or anything, which it might be, we do live thousands of miles away. Agreed! It's in guard mode. There's a way to override that, some sort of code word. Hmm, I bet if I check around the expo I can find someone who knows. Anytime. Need anything else? Yeah, it's Mate. We got the word to calm Suki down. It's Mate. What? I'm sure there is a logical explanation. Right. Well, you said a shadow figure, right? 
Maybe it was some sort of trick of the light. Thanks a lot, Bess. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue about what to do with this one. But Nancy, whatever's going on out there, be careful. Cool! No, I've heard about stuff like this before. There's a thing you can do to the glass to throw a false image, but it's a really fussy process. It's hard to do without breaking the mirror. More possible than the other option. What do you think that means? What happened this time? Good call. It could be pretty easily automated, I think. Neither was I, but I was a little horrified. But then she took us to see the Guyon District. So cool. She was a little grumpy that we wanted to see some traditional plays, but I think she had fun anyway. It's crazy. I've never seen so many clever people in one space. I'm definitely dealing with a little bit of that small fish, large pond anxiety. I'm still trying to get tickets for you, but it's not looking good. I loved it. Yeah, it's great. I'm definitely saving it. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I'm getting an outfit just like that one. Oh yeah, get a piece of paper. I've got a bunch. Tate, that means stand. Omori, not sure what that one is. And we've got Buruwa, that means something. Oh, and Shizukani. I think that's it. Well, he may be strange, but sometimes strange just means strange. Well, I can't say for sure. She does really seem to resent that place, but I'm not sure if she'd go as far as trying to get it shut down. I don't know. From what Yumi says, Takai may be a lot less sweet than she seems. Yumi didn't really say, but I get the sense that she thinks Takai might be behind the hauntings. She told me that Takai never believed in the supernatural until recently, which seems a little suspicious to me. What do you mean? Where's Rentaro now? Such a liar! Nancy, she's such a liar! What you put up with, come on! You should have seen her when he asked her out. She looked like one of those terrible 70s paintings with the big eyes. Oh yeah, those things are a little rough. I know a trick, though. You should start with the large numbers first and count in from either end. In the first row, start with a blank space, then fill in the nine. In the top row, the four starts in the third box from the left. The eight in the first column ends one square above the bottom row. There are only three blanks to the right of the four in the top row. In the top row, there's one blank on the left edge, then the two squares. In the five three column, the three ends two squares above the bottom row. The four eight row, the four starts in the first box from the left. The lower right corner is a four. The second square from the left in the fourth row is a one. The center square is a seven. Right. These puzzles are all about logic. If you're stuck on a block, check all the connected rows and columns to help eliminate numbers. A six is between the nine and three in the next to last row. They always sell puzzles like these with solutions. Look for the first step lying around somewhere. You want to move the whole section down first, then shift the middle piece to the left. That should get you started. Try putting the square in the left corner. Are you sure you have all the pieces you need? There are five slots. Do you have five cards? Make sure you put the blue card on the left. In the 515 column, 15 ends on the bottom row. In the center grid, the top row ends with 9, 6, 4. In the lower right grid, the bottom row starts 8, 1, 5. Guess you're right. Nancy, Operation Distract Logan is a go. Call Savannah. Gotta go. Nancy, good news. We met Ryuichi, the creator of the Suki Cats. Thing is, he won't give away the secret phrases unless you buy one of the cats. Nancy, we've got the book. Nancy, good news! Hi, it's George. I'm away from my phone. Hey, back away from the door. No ticket, no entry. Where's your ticket? If a ghostly egg is what you seek, under the broken tile you must peek. When we first walked in the door, my wife told me she had a bad feeling about this place. But no, I told her she was being unreasonable. Well, whatever it is that's going on down here, we are not putting up with it anymore. That thing you left in our room. No one should ever see something like that. I want my money back. And I want to see this place closed down. Y you'd never get away with something like this in Sydney. Oh, please yourself. If you ask me, this Ryokan needs to be closed down immediately. The strange sounds on the pounding, on the screaming at all hours of the night, waking up my family, scaring the children half to death. If you ask me, this Ryokan needs to be closed down immediately. Sorry, changes nothing. This is unacceptable. I want my money back, and I want a car sent immediately to take us anywhere else. 
the strange sounds, on the pounding, on the screaming at all hours of the night, waking up my family, scaring the children half to death. You've reached Beth. I'm away from my phone. Call me later. Nancy, how's it going? Hi, Nancy, what's up? Hi! I love Japan. I have done so much shopping, and George's convention is crazy. I've never seen so many people. It's totally sold out. Well, yeah. Kind of hard not to be here. I don't even know where to start. Have you ever had mochi? It's a revelation, Nancy. I'm not even kidding. And the shopping. Oh, yeah. Did that do it? No? Okay. You do it then. Yep. Why is that so hard? Anyway, what's your story? What are you up to? You coming over? See you, Nancy. That's the one. You've got to get down here and meet her. She's so much fun. She told us all about everyone at the Ryokan, and it sounds like you've got your hands full. Uh-oh. Yep, that's the one. Busted. Shocking. Yeah, what's going on? But then the guy told George, for such a captivating, beautiful, gorgeous girl, he'd be willing to make an exception. You're turning red. Nancy, she's turning red! George, did we have a friend named Nancy Drew once? No problem. Anything else? What do you mean? That's pretty strange. Maybe you can find another copy of the book somewhere. Weird. Did you call? Yeah, we do. I am? Well, at the very least, this will be interesting. Solid point. We'll keep you updated. You've got to call. I love those! I don't know if they're cute or creepy, but I love them anyway. Need anything else? Creepy. Okay, that's it. We're leaving Japan. The two of you, I swear, if we were being chased by a dinosaur, you two would be too busy debating about the fossil record to run away. Where's your sense of panic? Spooky. Anything else? Why are you still there? You've lost your mind. You know how in the scary movies you always want to yell, Don't go in that door! But they never can hear you? Well, you can hear me, so don't go in that door! Call this mystery a wash and come stay at our hotel, which has a nice ghost-free view and a ghost-free pool and tiny overpriced ghost-free packets of peanuts. Since you won't listen to reason, you're going to have to listen to George on this one. Ugh, creepy. What's that? What did it say? Ugh, the last thing I saw written on a window said, sail. You should get on board with my lifestyle. Way less stressful. Creepy. Just thinking about that, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Not sure how you do it. It's the best! Yumi's been showing me some of the coolest parts of town. The fashion here is crazy. Yumi took me to a store. I don't even know how to describe this place. It was pink. Really, really pink. It had the pink version of everything you could imagine. Yeah, I love it. I should find an outfit just like that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Remember the train passes we all got? Find your pass and follow the signs to the train. Right, and tot de koi. And there was one more. What was it? Oh, yeah. Oyatsu. Yeah, the way Yumi tells it, he's about as weird as they come. Do you think he could be behind what's going on? She's so much fun. A little pushy sometimes, but I feel like I've known her for years and we've just met. That's never a good sign. I'd keep an eye on her. She could just be quiet or she could be hiding something. Oh, no. I'm glad you're okay. Be careful, Nancy. Oh, isn't that cool? I love the poor Cora booths here. I'll show you where a really great one is if you get done with your mystery before we have to head back home. Thanks. Yumi really seems to love those machines. I don't know. Maybe it's just her way of being friendly? Well, he asked me out on a date. See what I put up with for you? All right, fine. I wouldn't go that far, but actually I had a really nice time with him. We're going out again as soon as he's done researching the expo for Savannah. So maybe you could put in a word with her about giving her assistant a break? Don't be afraid to jump around. You know you're on the right track when you hear a click. Look at the checkerboard pattern. I bet you have to recreate that. Take the peg with the most connections and put it all the way in the corner. In the lower left grid, the top row begins 9-8. Nancy! You made it! How was your ride? Oh, hi, Nancy. What was the name of the place you're staying at again? Told you! So when do we see you? We'll give you the book. Anything else? Bye, Nancy. Bye. Talk to you later.